Hey everyone, this is Chaitali and today we are going to look at a tutorial on making a paper bead bracelet. So we will start in Silhouette Studio, my favorite software of all times. And you can see that I have a bunch of triangles here already to cut out. And each of these triangles actually represents a paper bead. I have two types here. One is uh, with two, uh, two triangular edges and one is uh, with a straight edge on the side. And if you're thinking this is a very strange layout, it is because I have this arranged as being able to cut four uh, four by six papers. So the total width and length of this layout is eight by 12. And the reason for this is I am using Paper Tray Inc's uh, Beautiful Beads papers today for this project. So they are four by six in size and I want to be able to cut a lot of beads from a lot of those papers at a time. So I'm just going to check my cut settings here and that looks good. So uh, we are ready to give this as a cut to the Cameo. And I will see you in a second. All right, so uh, these, this is how it looks like when it's cut out. I just took off the uh, outside frame when uh, and leaving only the triangles in place. And now I'm using my spatula to carefully take off the triangles. So uh, you want to smoothen it out a little bit when you take it off. But this is how it looks like when it's all uh, come off. Um, so you have to be a bit careful with this paper because it is a little delicate. Uh, I highly recommend using your spatula to take it off uh, slowly. So uh, I did this for all of the triangles on that sheet that you saw and this is one of those. So what I'm using here is a regular glue stick, just the kind you would get in any stationery store and I'm just going to glue this over uh, on top of the glue stick, uh, so, I'm sorry, on top of the triangle. Ah, you can't glue a glue stick on a glue stick. Um, and when I have enough glue on it, this is a reed stick that I'm using here to roll it over and make the bead. You can actually use a skewer or anything else really that is kind of round and that would uh, give you a good place to roll your bead on. Uh, you want to remember that the whole size of your bead is going to be the size of that object you use. So that's something to think about. And uh, this really works well also because you can roll many beads on this at a time. So uh, that's another mass production thing. And the whole reason I'm really interested in doing a lot of these at a time is because I want to have a lot of beads on hand when I'm making my projects. So this is like a quick one-time step. So I'm going to be doing a lot more on the stick uh, and uh, gluing them first together. So there... I have about five beads on this stick and now I'm going to use Mod Podge and this brush that I picked up uh, about five for a dollar at my local craft store uh, because the Mod Podge really sticks to your brush. So you want to get these disposable brushes. So I am just applying this over uh, the beads and I'm going to make sure that it actually doesn't stick to the stick while I'm applying it over the bead because when it's dry, I want to be able to get the bead off as easily as possible. So that's what I'm doing here. And now I'm done with uh, applying um, glue over all of these. Uh, I have it unfortunately laid down on my desk, but you want to uh, prop it up on um, two supports and let it dry. And you can see I did a few more on a larger stick. You could actually get six or seven on a stick. And I'm going to prop it up with a few acrylic blocks to dry. All right, so um, I did that. I let it dry overnight and now uh, I am back. So um, what we are going to do is uh, use a bunch of different beads to make this bracelet. Um, I have some metallic beads. I have some um, wooden beads. I also have metal fasteners, which will become the ends of my bracelet. And um, I also have these paper beads that I made, the ones that you see to my left. Um, so I'm going to be using all of them in my bracelet today. And what I'm doing right now is uh, putting in one end of the bracelet, one fastener. Uh, one more type of bead that you actually will need is what's called a crimping bead. And I will explain in a second what it is. Uh, I'm just going to do this whole process over uh, so you can see it. So what I did is I first put in a crimping bead, then I put in the metal fastener, 
and then I looped over the bracelet fastener and uh, pulled this um, wire through the crimping bead again. This is, by the way, a uh, very standard jewelry making wire. You can get it at any craft shop. I got mine from Michael's. And this is how the crimping bead looks like. Let me try and zoom in a little bit more for you to see. Oops, that didn't quite work. Um, I'm just going to try zooming in again. And you really want the crimping bead in place uh, from the metal uh, fastener there uh, that is probably a clearer view um, and what we are going to do is actually squish the crimping bead using our notes pliers so that it kind of holds the wire really tightly in place and squish it really strongly so that uh, your metal fastener is um, uh, right in place and doesn't move around um, so that's what I'm going to be doing over here Okay, so um, now that we have that done, I'm just going to pull out a few of these metal beads so we can use those. And I'm going to start threading my bracelet. I, I kind of played around with, with this a little bit before and worked out a pattern. So what I'm doing is I'm going to have a wooden bead and then a metal bead and then I have another uh, wooden bead and then a few seed beads um, and then um, uh, the paper bead and so on. So uh, you just need to play around with, with your pattern. I really highly recommend that you have uh, different types of beads with you when you play with this. And um, you know, uh, the paper beads by itself are not going to be sufficient. So just playing around helps a lot. So these are some smaller ones are called seed beads. So I have those as well. Uh, and I'm playing around with those just to get a feel for the bracelet. So uh, this is how my bracelet pattern is shaping up. Uh, and I use my own hand here to make the bracelet um, and to decide if this was complete or not. So that's how uh, I got the length of the bracelet going. Uh, one interesting thing to note about is uh, you don't want the two ends of your bracelet looking uh, exactly the same. You actually want it such that when you close it and make a circle, that's when the bracelet is completed. And uh, you will see this better a little bit when uh, I show you the full design of the bracelet. But uh, over here now, uh, this is how I'm going to conclude my bracelet actually. This is the place. And what I did is I did the whole sequence I did at the beginning in reverse. I put in the seed bead, I put in uh, the other metallic fastener, and then now I'm just pulling the wire tight uh, across this and pulling this, pushing this down uh, as I go along to complete the length of the bracelet. And that is how I'm going to finish off the bracelet. So when I have this loop completely tight, I'm again going to take my uh, nose pliers and uh, really squish it down um, into place so that I have this whole thing really tightened up. And then um, I am going to uh, cut off the, the ends that are hanging out here once I have the uh, bead completely squished. Uh, I won't be cutting it off completely. I'm just going to trim off both of these ends with and leaving a little bit of wire on both sides. And that extra wire can be uh, pushed inside these beads so that uh, it doesn't hang out or anything. But it still gives the bracelet a little bit of extra stability. Uh, and again, like you see over here, my two ends are completely different. Uh, but when you fold it over and uh, make it completely circular like you would on your hand, it'll be very symmetrical. So that is the project for today. Um, hope you enjoyed it. Hope you had fun with it. And hope it gives you some ideas to go play yourself with paper beads and make some wonderful jewelry. Um, meanwhile, I'm going to enjoy my bracelet. Thanks for watching. Mm -hmm.